were you affected by the wildfires? They've been, uh, you know... Uh, have there were a lot of fires. Yes, a lot of fires here lately. There was just one uh, the other day, over the weekend, right outside our studios. Thankfully, the, the amazing... I saw uh, that in the air. ...firefighters uh, took care of it. They did an amazing job. But uh, you were, were you displaced at so all? the studios did not burn down? No, you, no, okay. it did not. Um, yes, we had to evacuate, actually, uh, for... For two nights, and it's interesting when you have to evacuate your house at the last minute. It's very telling about what you take with you and what you cherish in life. I, you know, I have some guitars. I, t I grabbed my best guitar. Mm -hmm. I grabbed um, my laptop, mm -hmm. and I grabbed a photo album. Mm -hmm. And I said, "Honey, I'll be back in a couple of days." <laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> This audience, this audience applauds a tragedy. Yeah. It's all, no, it's not true. I, no, my, my wife and my son would be the first things Everyone's, I would take. Yeah. They're fantastic. Yeah. Good, good, good cover on that. Uh, no, no, Kevin, it's true. Kevin, <laughs> you, true. Um, we've, we've known each other uh, a very long time. I worked with you back on Saturday Night Live, and I've always known you. Hang on, guy. Let me just think. Yes, I do. Okay, all right. So I remember that you, uh, and I've always thought of you as a guy, very nice, very funny, but I feel like you're holding in stress. Like you have a lot of stress and you hold it in. Is that a fair thing to say? <laughs> Seriously. If you were a therapist, I'd say it would be fair well, to say. Well, you're yeah, here, but, you're um, in a chair, yeah. Um, I do. Um, I, you know, I, I'm the kind of guy, I hate confrontations. So I hold, I have so much I want to say to you, but I'm not going <laughs> to. Uh, I hold I hold in a lot of things, and it's stress, and it creates stress. I think you know. At night, I grab my teeth. Oh, I you do. Them. Yeah. yeah. So um, they um, they got me on, on a night guard, mm -hmm. which is basically a guy with a uniform that stands oh, near my God. bed. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Can we be serious for one minute? <clears throat> There's a guard that stands there no, and I'm guards kidding. you. Okay. And when I grab my teeth, he puts his finger. Okay. No, it's not that. No, it took, it's a, it took it's a, an erotic turn. Is it's what it like did. A, I never thought of it as a rock. So I, I think it is. What you're thinking? <laughs> Sorry. It's a medical. That's thing. my fantasy. I don't stick my tongue out. First of all, he just <laughs> he just inches it in okay. the side. Okay. No, it's a it's a mouthpiece that fits in there. Yeah, so I understand. when you grind, you don't. Mesh. And then my teeth started separating on the bottom over the years, and so my dentist got me a retainer to put in. Oh. And um, and then come to find out that um, I have sleep apnea. I snore a lot, so yeah. I have to wear a CPAP machine now at night, which is a full face mask with a hose that runs yes. off. And my wife was like, Jesus, this is like sleeping with somebody in ICU every night. <laughs> and then I started getting all jealous. I said, how do you know that? Have you slept with somebody in ICU? <laughs> do you know somebody in ICU? Who are you seeing in Who's ICU? Who's this guy in ICU? Who is this guy? <laughs>